As a fish? Yes. Oh. As a hit. Got it. Yes. Oh, yes. Hi, right, guys. Just got to the canal. And we're going to try to catch some perch today for a change. I said to myself I was going to try perch fish at least once a week this year. And I've not been for about a month. So, <laughs> yeah, we're going today at least. Sign off for this little seven centimetre LMAB coffee roach, four gram jigged. Uh, yeah, let's try to catch some perch. Sort of like a medium sized perch like this, I'd say. It's not too small. And then again, it's not like massive. I should pick up a few different sizes of fish, hopefully. I've only fished this bit of canal once before. I don't think I did that well. I five or six perch I think I had but yeah the water was really low it's back up pretty much like normal high at the minute so hopefully it's better but it's really cold so yeah that's never good for any type of fishing I think I'm gonna head straight up to the lock rather than messing around down here too much fish around this bridge and then go straight up there that's where I'd expect more perch to be hanging around pretty much made up to the lock gates now, I just trolled all the way up there. Uh, <laughs> one bite off a pike and that's it. So yeah, it's gonna be a very slow perch today, unfortunately. So yeah, we're gonna have to grind to get on our bite. But at least like last time I was here, the water was way, way down, but it's back up now. So at least there's that. I'd expect them to be feeding a bit better with more water in, but we'll see. I've got all day, <laughs> so yeah, if it's hard we'll uh, keep changing baits, try in different spots and just try and winkle out a few perch. But I think it's definitely not going to be an easy day. I've ended up going for this coffee bleak, six centimetre, just because it's a brighter colour because the, the water's pretty cold, so we're going to try that for a little bit. I think this is a three gram jig head, not 100% sure, but I think it's three grams. Uh, yeah, see if we can get our first perch caught, trying to figure out how they're feeding and everything today. We'll just keep mixing it up until we get some bites. I think we'll get some fish, I just don't think it's going to be easy. They're definitely not. See that little bait fish jumped right over my bait then. That was, <laughs> that was weird. I didn't know there's bait here then. Let's see how deep it actually is here in the edge. It's got a bit, like eight foot. Okay. It's on the bottom there. Oh yeah, easy. Eight, nine foot that, I reckon. Very deep. Last cast on this side. Oh no. Not that cast. This next cast is the last cast on this side. And then we're going to go to the opposite side of the canal. We'll get a bit close to the water and we can fish over that like inlet bit which should be fire that's where you'd expect them to be anyway but like I said I've not really had any bites of perch yet today so not a clue what to do for him at the minute As a fish, yes. Oh, first cast on this side of the canal. It feels reasonably big as well. No way. Please be a perch. Feels like a perch. It's a perch, it's not that big. Probably a 30, but first fish. Come here, man. Let's go. Yes. First cast on this side of the canal. Oh, like I say, it's probably only like a 30 centimetre perch. It's very skinny after spawning as well. But it's the first one. Nailed that little bleak. Sweet as. Looks like the pike's had a chunk out of this guy as well. Ooh, that was very lightly hooked actually. Oh yeah. Ooh. I'm not gonna measure it, but I'd say 30 centimetres. First perch, long and slim. Okay, drop back in. 
see if there's another one down there. Yes. I knew that little bleak could work. Put up such a good fight, that little guy, though. I thought it was going to be a lot bigger than that. I wouldn't say that was even a cast. I literally, when I walked over the lock gates, I dropped it in. And then I was just fishing it back from there. <sighs> right, first fish out of the way. Perch, exactly what we came for. Just got to get a lot more now. Bigger ones, hopefully. At least I know this bait works. There's one. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oop. Only a little guy, but that was like two casts after that last one. Perfect. <laughs> oh, was perfect in there. That's probably like a 12 centimeter perch. But yeah. Ooh. When you have a bait that's nice and thin, even like the smaller perch, get a, get a good bite on it. It's a little bit shallower where I've just dropped this then. Drop it in the same spot, that was like an instant bite then. Hmm, nothing that gas stuck. Okay. I reckon there's definitely a few more now on this side. Nothing all the way up that side of the canal, and then I've just got two in two and three casts basically, so yeah, should be a few more stacked around here, hopefully anyway. Oh, that was a good bite, right under that bridge. <laughs> I wasn't expecting a bite in there. Huh, okay, there's fish in this little... Oh, that was not a good cast. Fish in this little spillway bit. The bite is mega slow. I'm going to just try... For uh, probably the next hour, I'm going to fish this exact the same area but with a bigger bait. So let me see what we've got. All right, I'm gonna go for the same same bait, but a bigger size. I thought I had this in a bright green, and I think I do, but I've not brought it with me. So I'm gonna go for this more natural bleak. All right, so I didn't have any jiggers big enough, well, you know, as big as I wanted, so I've got one that's a little too short, but I think they should still get hooked on that. Seven grams, so yeah, we're gonna cast, fan cast this whole area from this spot, starting there, work around with this bait. And there is definitely more fish here, and then yeah, we'll switch baits and then try some different spots after. I'll fish this area really thoroughly though. Well in there. That's not coming off. Ah, oh, no, broke. Right, first low lost of the day. At least I've still got my leader. So yeah, we'll change it now. I've only made about four casts with that, I think. But soon I've broke, I might as well try something different. Right, quick retie. Going for a creature bait this time. Mix it up, try something completely different. Uh, seven gram. Back my tag end off. Seven gram tungsten from nine seven. Tungsten, chub weight, uh, not sure on hook size, maybe a one art, two art, and uh, yeah, see if we can get one on a creature. Beautiful swimming action on these, quite a big profile to be fair, but it's such a thin body shape, even like the smaller fish can get it in the mouths really easy. So yeah, we'll give it a whirl, something a bit different than what I've used. Going for the seven gram again, just because pretty deep. Man, that profile is actually really big in the water. You can see that with the like uh, appendages and everything. The legs. Looks massive. So yeah, nice big meal for a perch. Got it, yes. Oh, it's a monster. It's a monster. Yes, yes, yes. That's, oh man, this is a big fish. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Oh, yes. 
<laughs> oh, that's got to be a 40. Yes. Just chucked this finesse fillet craw under that bridge. Boom. That's a beast. Oh, I knew there was going to be one there. <laughs> I've been sat in this spot for probably an hour now. And then I've got the fish that I came for. Let me clip this net real quick. Oh, that's a stud. Yes. Took a bit of chopping and changing, but we've got a chunky fish right there. Stoked on that. I've got a feeling it's gonna be a 40 centimeter. Get a quick measure, I'm gonna rest it in the water and then I'll show it to you guys. Oh, it's not even 40. I thought it's well bigger, it's 37. 37 centimeters. But it's not a bad start. All right guys, third perch of the day, finally. Oof. Took a little while to get, but yeah, beast. Not huge, it's only 37 centimeters, but yeah, it's a very, very nice perch. Well happy with that. Right under that bridge where I was expecting it. I knew they'd be one there, so yeah, let's get this guy put back. Not put it back in the main canal, put it back in this little slipway where I got it. I'll show it to you guys. Oof, there it goes. Awesome. Yes, third perch. <sighs> Upsizing, you know, you get the better fish. <sighs> I never have that confidence. Putting on a bigger bait and then, yeah, look at that. Hammered. First fish I've had on one of these. Finesse fillet craw. But yeah, that one wanted it then. I felt it just under this bridge. I felt it knock and then it must have just been swimming with it a bit. So I set the hook anyway, even though I couldn't feel the fish anymore. And yeah, it was there. So yeah, I'm up it. I'm doing the uh, UK lure series thing as well. So yeah, that's the first fish I'm gonna send in for that. Not a 40, I thought that was an easy 40 centimeter perch, 37, but still, I'm up it. So the bite's been really, really slow, so. First fish out of the way is always good. So, yeah, third fish. I've, only, I've been fishing an hour and a half and I've only had three perch. So that sort of uh, gives you guys an inclination or whatever the word would be of how hard the fishing has been today. But, you know, when you get a decent perch, definitely makes up for it, that's for sure. Right, no bite since that decent fish. It's pretty frustrating, but again, we are in like the worst conditions. It's middle of, well, it's late, mate. It's 26th of May, so it's like nearly summer, really. Summer in less than a month. And it's like, yeah, seven degrees Celsius, cold wind, really overcast and miserable. So it's like the worst conditions. It seems to have just switched the perch off completely. So, yeah, I think I'm going to change baits. I'm going to downsize. Even though I've got quite a bit of colour in the water, I'm going to go for a pretty natural pattern as well, because I've been using, like, the brighter ones so far. I've not really tried a natural in the smaller size anyway. So, yeah, I'm going to stick a natural jig on. Probably go for the 6 centimeter bleak again. And, yeah, try to wink out another fish or two or five. But... It's been, yeah, difficult, very difficult. Ooh. Here we go for this colour, champagne, look at that. Beautiful, I love this colour. Much better for, you know, <laughs> more natural condition. Nice little profile, but it's not too small, like I've said. Still, get a slightly bit of fish to hit it. I'm gonna go, yeah, so I think that's a three, three and a half gram jig head, so we're gonna put this one on with it. I think this is the same size as what I was using before anyway, so yeah, decent size. So yeah, give this a whirl. We are, let me just check, just under two hours into fishing, one hour 53. So that's quite a long time for, <laughs> for only three perch, I'll tell you. Uh, 
as a fish. Oh, another big perch from that bridge. No way. <laughs> no way. I'm going to flip this one. It's not too big. Yes. That's <laughs> another perch from under that bridge. He choked that as well. Sweet. That's probably, no, no, 32, 33. Beauty though, fish number four under that bridge again. Sweet as, I was not expecting that. It was on that champagne coloured one. Pop that out. Three gram jig head. Well, beauty, get this guy put back. Oop. See you, bud. Under that bridge again, I'm gonna do a few more casts under that. Or onto it, or whichever. Let's just start chucking it down. I mean, it is like the ideal spot to catch perch, to be fair, somewhere like that. Perfect little ambush point. There we go, fish number four, anyway. That's uh, not a massive one, probably, like I say, 32, 33, 34 centimetres. But not a tiny fish, either. So, yeah, four fish. Three on this bleak and one on the fillet craw. Sweet. I honestly thought I was going to be blanking today when I walked up the canal and I didn't have a single bite but uh, yeah I'm glad we got on a few fish at least even if it's only even if that's all I get that's yeah pretty happy give you guys a little overview of what I'm using seeing as everyone usually asks we've got Kumajorio 20 size um, not a bad reel to be fair really cheap Shimano Parade, can't remember the name of it, it's like a Japanese name beginning with K. Eight strand though, 0.1 mil. Eight strand, really important in my opinion, I've never had a good four strand braid. Um, LMAB La Mastique Rod, this is a 4 to 14 gram version, 1.98 meters. I'm not sure what, I think that's like six foot six. Uh, and then I've got a Berkeley Trilene leader, so yeah, basic setup. But it worked. I don't mind fishing in the rain normally, but this rain is very, very cold today. I don't know why. <laughs> it's not going to make fishing any easier as well if it's cooling the water down. I'm going to start moving anyway. I've been in this spot for an hour and a half now. So I'm going to move back down the canal the way I came. But rather than just trolling, I'm going to fish it a bit more thoroughly. Walking back, try to pick up another couple of fish. Be nice to get at least one or two more. But at least we've had some four perch on an incredibly hard day, so yeah, can't complain really. Oh, there's a hit. Oh, very little rattler. First hit I've had not up in that corner. There's oh. Man, just another bite. I was first bite for probably like 20 minutes and I missed it. Damn. <laughs> I cannot believe how slow it is on this canal today. Ridiculous. That yeah, must be at least 20 minutes since that last bite, that one then. I missed it. Want a big fish though. All right guys, back in the van. <laughs> Freezing session. I can't believe it. 26th of May and it's like cold, windy, rainy. It's just horrible. The fish were just not on it. Three hours fished and four fish. That's it. <laughs> Mad. Um, but yeah, I had two on these natural perch, coffee bleak, six centimetre. One on the champagne, same lure. And one, the biggest fish, was on one of these finesse for the crawls seven centimeter um not this color different color well yeah very 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 difficult to get a bite i had like i said three hours fishing i probably had less than 10 bites is absolutely insanely bad i've had better sessions in like middle of winter so yeah the fish are not on it like we had some hot weather last couple of weeks and then it's just turned back to freezing cold and horrible so 
what can you do but yeah i caught some fish I had a nice one as well i'm pretty happy with that 37 it was not the longest but it was thick such a, like broad shoulders on it so yeah pretty happy with only four perch in three hours but yeah i was planning on staying for like most of the day till at least like 12 12 one o'clock sort of time um but yeah no chance i'm not staying when it's so cold but yeah that's it anyway so hope you guys enjoyed make sure you like comment share whatever you want to do and uh yeah i'll put links to all the lures and stuff i use in the description so yeah check them out catch you guys next time